What's going on YouTube? Holy hell, it's, in fact, it is an update. Burton Old Chevy 4x4. I know I haven't been around YouTube here in a while. Um, I have been shooting a little, little bit of footage here and there just to the weather and stuff over the past couple of weeks, but nothing really materialized. And uh, let's we'll see what we got going on in here today. Uh, absolute and total freaking disaster, as usual. Well, I wouldn't be home if it wasn't a mess, right? Let's see what we got going on. Had a lot of stuff to clean up. Uh, just a little project crap to do. I want to pull the engine off this tractor today and get that ready to tear apart. I uh, may even do something with this. I found some computer parts down at the dump the last time I was down there. I've had our old tower from in the house I wanted to incorporate out here somehow or another, but I didn't have a monitor for it, so or a power supply, or a modem. But, well, you know, that's all things to be worked out in the future, I guess. But uh, go ahead and fire up. I'll move the jimmy, fire up the tractors, get these out of the way, try to, try to make a little space, get the chainsaw hung back up, all that crap. Good times. Well, as usual, modern technology never fails to disappoint. We'll uh, see what the old timers can do. I'd be almost willing to bet that we won't have those kind of problems here. Uh oh, can't know what you can see or can't see, but we'll just have to go with that and accept that fact and move on with life. One, see if we can get an encore performance. anything less out of those two. Oh, now for the real fun. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. Uh, crazy for wheel horses how to recognize that. Not so much that, probably, but maybe. You never know. Uh, a little bit better anyways. Not not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Definitely could use a little more work. Got to sweep, got to clean up the oil slicks that are, uh, you know, around. But that'll get me started anyways. I can get in here and move around some. And I'm going to leave you with that. So, guys, as always, I do appreciate you watching the uh, video and all that good stuff, you know. Uh, I'm going to be just finishing this one off with clips from the last couple of weeks. So here you guys go. Take it easy. Of course, I'm going to take you out here and show you this new tailing on me. It is uh, January the 14th. I'm just heading back from Nashville. Went up there to see the doctor again. Uh, get some more x-rays and all that good stuff. We're going to show you all the flooding. We had about four inches of rain, or a little over four inches of rain, uh, yesterday. And it brought the river up and out. And this is the little river that we took Bert swimming in. We were back in the summertime, showed you the video of that. This isn't the same spot, but it's about a mile or so from that spot. But uh, this road actually goes out to like those trees and then banks off to the right hand side. And the river itself should be like way over there. <laughs> but good times. Um, I've had enough of this crap. I'm getting back in the truck. Look at this nonsense. The truck is filthy. That's no good. Look at that crap salt. They're brining on the interstate. I don't know why. Well, I guess because of this. They're dumping brine like crazy out there, so. 
it was above freezing, I'd wash this, but it's only 31 degrees. Yuck. Ice. Icy ice. What do you think? He's not impressed. Guys, it was 65 degrees yesterday. Mm-hmm. Sure was. <sighs> Nonsense. He's either laying it on real, real light, or he's just out here practicing. I'm gonna say he's out here practicing because there is absolutely nothing kicking off of that truck. Nice. Tax dollars hard at work right there. What's going on, YouTube? It is uh, January the 16th. Kind of icy out. Check this crap out. Did a little ice storm. Actually, this is like the third time I've tried to make this video, so uh, I think what I'm going to end up with is a video of me saying the date repeatedly in different days. Oh, cold. Cold, crappy weather. It was like 65 degrees Sunday, and it's not anymore. Well, you can see there's the problem. Uh, Bert would love the fence to be that low. What are you doing? Oh, he wants to go in. Definitely wants to go in. Guys, I've got nothing really to update you on at all, other than uh, my medical crap. There's probably very few of you really give a crap about that, but uh, I'll show you if I can get this opened up here real quick. One finger. What we got going on, it's the good news. Uh, there's my arm, you guys have all seen that. Uh, the good news is, is this chunk right here is uh, just about completely healed over. This was an actual, like a piece of bone was just not there anymore. Um, it's just about healed over. Bad news is it's healed to the other bone, so the ulna and the radius or whatever are now connected in two places. It's healed there, and then it's cross-healed up here, too. But uh, that's good news, guys, because that means no bone grafting. Uh, osteoporosis looks like it's going down some there in the wrist, so that's all, all good stuff. All good stuff. Uh, really, that's about it. I'm going to finish up out here and head back in the house where it's somewhat warm. Actually, it's quite warm compared to being out here. Uh, as always, guys, I do appreciate y'all watching. Checking out the vids and all that good stuff, leaving the comments. Uh, please stay safe and stop back.